welcome to Energy for Life. In my last video, Perseverance Part 1, taking from Abraham Lincoln's life, we looked at the principles of self-resolution to succeed, the elements of physical and mental ability, and adopting perseverance factors from others. Today, we are taking a view into the life of a woman who lived during Lincoln's time and who was as much an example of perseverance as he. Their two lives intertwined at one of the most significant turning points in American history, the Civil War. The woman we're learning from today is Sojourner Truth. Sojourner was a slave girl living in New York with her parents. She was sold at the age of nine. Fortunately, Sojourner's mother had taught her to have great faith in God and to be honest and kind. Her first major act of perseverance was surviving being torn from her family. She was sold for $100 and some sheep. She would then be sold again another two times to various white slave owners and would be sexually abused and beaten by them. She also would marry, have five children, and then would eventually leave her husband and four of those children behind. This happened when she had been promised emancipation by her slave owner, a man by the name of Dumont. Her emancipation was to occur on the 4th of July in 1826. However, Dumont reneged on his promise. Sojourner simply finished out her day's work, put her baby in her arms, and walked off the plantation. Why did she persevere at this point? Because she wanted to secure her freedom. Now to us. First principle in this session is why. Remember your why. Why are you even in a place of having to persevere? What is it you're trying to achieve? Is it survival, accomplishment, making your family proud, leaving a legacy perhaps? Or maybe it's the long-term goal of earning a college ed education, a degree, getting along with your parents or your friends better, or doing exceptionally well on your job or career. Maybe what's pushing you even is that you have this goal of raising your children to be pleasant and responsible citizens, or having a happy and rewarding marriage. So you have goals that are truly worthy of your energy and time. But what we can find, especially with a long-term goal, is that we can become physically, mentally, emotionally, and even financially spent. Though, despite the exhaustion, these goals are good because they are meaningful to us. And that is why we persevere. So remind yourself, remind yourself of your why when those tough moments hit, and they are guaranteed to hit in life. Okay, next principle, ask for help. Ask, who can help me? And listen, because you're going to have those times that are gonna be so draining and so difficult and just so exhausting, you, are, you might even get sick because that's what long-term stress can do to us. Been there. So you're going to need to ask for help. Getting back to Sojourner. When she walked off Dumont's plantation after he denied her emancipation, she sought the help of a man named Levi Rao. He then connected Sojourner with a Quaker couple, Mr. and Mrs. Van Wagenen. They were very kind and sympathetic to Sojourner. In fact, they even offered her employment. When Dumont caught wind that Sojourner was with the Van Wagenens, he confronted them, and he intended to get Sojourner back. However, the Van Wagenens paid a year's salary to Dumont and an additional $5 for the baby. There were other times in Sojourner's life that she would have to ask, who can help me? She had great faith in God and always sought God's help, but she also knew she needed help from others. None of us can make it through life without help. The saying that no man is an island is true. We all need help. We're, in fact, we're even designed to need help. It's in our social DNA that even the most introverted of us need help with, from someone for something at some time. And so, when the pressure is on and things get particularly difficult, we will need to ask for help. Who can you ask for help? If you're not sure where to even begin, then take a few minutes to look at this Who Can Help Me illustration. The idea is to draw a circle with your name in the center, several concentric rings around one another as you see in this diagram, and now list in the first circle around your name whom you can ask for help with this current challenge. 
who would be most suitable, best suitable for helping you in this situation. Who you seek out help from will de vary depending on the matter of concern. Someone who might be best suited in one instance or circumstance may not be the best in another. So decide upon who you can approach with a request for help and take the step of asking for the help you need. The rewards of persevering. Through his perseverance, Abe Lincoln became President Lincoln and authored the Emancipation Proclamation, which dismantled the unjust, oppressive, and inhumane legal practice of slavery in the United States. His life of perseverance has inspired people in the United States and all around the globe for over 150 years. Sojourner Truth, an uneducated, illiterate slave girl, became one of the most powerful examples of perseverance and strength that the world has ever known. There is so much more to the story of Sojourner Truth's perseverance, including disagreement with women's movement activist Katie Stanton over Katie's refusal to support the fight for blacks' right to vote unless women were included. Then there was lack of respect shown to Sojourner by Frederick Douglass, simply because of her illiteracy. Sojourner stood up with honesty in her dealings with all those mentioned and faced many, many more challenges, yet she persevered. Sojourner Truth's perseverance in life to speak the truth to feed and aid emancipated slaves, to recruit black union soldiers during the Civil War, to be an anti-slavery activist, and to share the gospel led to her meeting our other person of perseverance, President Abraham Lincoln. In honor of her work, he invited her to the White House in 1864. In their time together, he showed her a Bible that had been given to him by African Americans from Baltimore. Posthumously, Sojourner Truth has received many honors. In Michigan, there is a highway named after her. A monument in Battle Creek still stands today. And in 1986, a portrait of her was published on a U.S. postal stamp. The question is, by perseverance, what might you accomplish? Think on that and then get to it. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I would love to hear your comments on how Energy for Life is helping you today. Until next time, I'll see you.